we have such a young man with us today. I went from intimidation and inspiration. I'm a marketing executive sales rep for River Cross and Pharmacy. That's what I do in my job. I went from selling dope to giving hope. He's a young boy who wants to be heard and needs to be heard. All the way from uh, Florence, Alabama. Everybody wants a resurrection, but don't nobody want to die. Let me tell you why he's the most valuable motivator. It's because he helped you to get techniques and strategies that will allow you to change the course of your life. Audience, I'm introducing to you Mr. James Edwards. When I met him, I said, listen, you have something to say, so he's here. It's a quote that I live by, and the quote is this, everybody get the opportunity of a lifetime, but everybody don't know how to make a lifetime out the opportunity. My story goes, my father was killed when I was four. My mom was addicted to drugs, crack cocaine in particular, until I was 17. My grandmother, she raised me. When I was 12 years old, my grandmother died. I moved in with my mom, and every single day it was verbal abuse, physical abuse, mental abuse. You got the power to create the life you want. 15, I sold my first piece of crack cocaine. We on Mobile Street at the old Connie Mart. I sold my first piece of crack cocaine at this place right here. I ran a serious cocaine ring from Florence, Alabama to Houston, Texas. He was the big meat of, of, of Alabama. I was addicted to the power. I was addicted to the fame. I was addicted to the lifestyle. I wasn't afraid to die, period, at that point. I was going to Houston, Texas in an attempt to buy five kilos of cocaine. And when I got to Houston, the guy was buying the cocaine from whipped a gun in my face, pulled a trigger. I was young, I was wild, I was reckless, I was foolish. Two years later, the FBI indicted me. I went from a small city drug lord to the most valuable motivator. Let me challenge y'all. What's inside of y'all? When I opened my mouth, whether I was talking negative or positive, people would just draw to me. And I heard a still small voice on the inside of me say, there's nothing wrong with talking too much. You just talking about the wrong thing. A person is hungry, he'll do anything to get his hands on the guilt. But a person is driven, he's not gonna do anything because he know he got it. I just begin to encourage people. I just begin to motivate. Nah, life over with it. What if I told you right now that your life wasn't over? That you could turn yours around? I have a heart to just motivate people to bounce back from what they trying to bounce back from or trying to get up from the struggle. The very first man that gave me an opportunity to speak in front of a school. I stood on the platform at Steve Harvey's Mentoring Weekend three years in a row. Our job is to teach them the disciplines of manhood. I try to be their most valuable motivator for that time. You have the charisma, the excitement, the smile, and the power in order to become the most electrifying heavyweight of the hour. What you seeing now, bro, it, it, this is the, just the tip. This is James Edwards, the most valuable motivator, and this is the word for the day. This is the word for this show right here. Everybody want the appearance of success, but not many people want to practice. They don't want to prepare, and they don't want to endure the storms that lead to success. Me personally, when I was living a street life, when I was selling drugs, I wanted the appearance of change, but I didn't understand that I had to go from desperation to destiny. I had to prepare, I had to practice, and I had to endure every single storm that was going to lead to renewing my mind and being a different person. My slogan is this right here, and it is simple. If I can change, if I can turn my life around, if I can fall down and get back up, if I can bounce back, anybody can. And since I can, since you can, this is what I need you to do when you do bounce back. Finish the race, complete the work, and get the job done. Have a great day.